destroying source code, it's a little bit like the 21st century equivalent of book burning. It's a really final solution to a problem that may or may not have even occurred in the first place. Now, it's one thing to lose source code through carelessness, as many Sega employees will tell you, but it's quite another thing to just destroy existing source code, especially for games that have already been released. Unfortunately, that's exactly what's happened to Silicon Knights and its modern library, as a result of its disastrous court case versus Epic Games. Today we're going to have a quick look at the details of the court case, and then we're going to look at the wider implications of the final verdict. The story began in 2007 with the troubled development of Too Human. This game had initially been set for release on the original PlayStation, and had already seen multiple generations of consoles come and go without being released. When the project moved to the Xbox 360, Silicon Knights licensed the popular Unreal 3 engine and actually managed to finish the game. Unfortunately, critics and the general public were not kind, and the game received a lukewarm response. Whilst the game was playable, it was riddled with technical issues and frustrating gameplay decisions. Dennis Dyack, the founder of Silicon Knights, revealed that many of the game's troubles stemmed from the Unreal Engine and specifically the lack of support they received from Epic whilst using it. He spoke about having to rebuild the engine from scratch during development in order to achieve what they should have been able to do originally with the licensed engine and how the time and money spent doing this affected the quality of the final game. Dyack took Epic Games to court over claims that Epic had missed key deadlines, provided insufficient documentation, and withheld vital improvements to the engine for their own titles. This led to a bitter fight in the courtroom, with Epic quickly countersuing on the grounds that Silicon Knights were using the Unreal Engine without paying royalties. Now, fast forward to May 30th, 2012. After years of public bickering and confusion, the courts finally decided that it was actually Epic Games who was in the right, and that Silicon Knights had indeed been withholding royalty payments illegally. So, Dennis Dyack's arguments were all considered invalid, and Epic Games were awarded four and a half million dollars. However, the most devastating blow was yet to come. On November 7, 2012, the courts ordered Silicon Knights to recall any unsold copies of the games related to the case and destroy both the physical copies as well as the source code. Since Silicon Knights had also been using elements of their rebuilt engine in all their games since Too Human, this essentially cleansed the market of all the company's games from the current generation. The recently released X-Men Destiny was recalled, and all of the prototypes being developed and shopped to publishers were also canned. This seems to have been the death knell for Silicon Knights. They were supposedly struggling to find a publisher for Eternal Darkness 2, which was by far their most lucrative and desirable property, so this recent court ruling will likely put the company out of business. It's really tough to make a judgement on Silicon Knights from the outside. I mean, to me, it looks like poor management doomed them far more than any actual wrongdoing from Epic Games. But I still take serious, serious issues with destroying the source code. I mean, pull the games from market, sure, whatever. Enforce the payment of the royalties, absolutely. But who gains from destroying the source code? Any lessons learned during their development are lost for no reason, and hopes of revisiting the licenses in the future via other companies are going to be substantially more difficult without having the old code to reference. To me, it's a great example of the general irreverence we treat gaming culture with compared to film or literature. It just seems vindictive and archaic to order the destruction of irretrievable code. Now, I'm no expert in digital covenants and law, but surely we could have found a better outcome than this. I mean, maybe we could give equal access to the source code to Epic Games and Silicon Knights. 
Or even if we just give the code to Epic Games in its entirety. I mean, I don't know. What I do know is that we're never going to get that code back. And that's not a win for anyone.